that is wet. Oh, she's so quirky. All right, honestly pretty tired this week. I don't know if it's the overcast weather or just much like Bilbo spreading myself over too much toast. That was close enough. So I thought this week, what better activity to do than something that deceivingly looks easy and will probably take me far too long. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> if you're like me, uh, your algorithm on the internet has picked up on the fact that you love whimsy, whimsy. and mushrooms. mushrooms. And something that I've seen for like a year now, mushroom hats. <laughs> I think they're just the cutest freaking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I tend to see the red spotted mushrooms. What are those called? We strive for knowledge here, of course. Fly Algaric. I love those kind of mushrooms. I made my big mushroom sleeves. God, me. <coughs> I'm never gonna make it as a voice actor. You know what I thought would be fun? Taking that and making it um, a little ugly. <laughs> I live in New England, so the mushrooms around here are very much brown. <laughs> uh, this is the maxi learning hour. Agaricus bisporus. Try to make it look like really, real, really realistic. No idea how I'm gonna make this, which is generally, I feel like how my projects go, I swear. I have all intentions of doing research before I start recording, but then, you know, I don't. We're gonna figure it out together. Assuming a lot of people make it probably out of paper mache, if I had to guess, I could do that. I'm not very good at paper mache, so <laughs> I've done a whopping total of once. You would probably be able to see like the strips of paper, which is not ideal. It's fine, but it's not ideal. I'm gonna sort of do paper mache. I have this foam that I bought for the cushion in my little nook area in my office. It's just been sitting there. Boom. <laughs> I'm thinking adhes adhere. Ooh, the brain fog that is going on right now could be the setting for a Jack the Ripper movie because it's a foggy, dark Victorian morning in here. Take all of these foam pieces, adhere them, and make a big block of foam that I can then carve down. I have ordered an electric knife that I will be going and picking up later today. The kind that you would carve into a juicy turkey on Thanksgiving. I feel like I've seen someone use that before when carving out foam or something. So I don't know, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Put paper mache on top of that, but paper mache clay. My girl, Johnny at Ultimate Paper Mache, she has an original recipe for that. And so I'm gonna try that. It's more of like, Schlop rather than strips of paper. You feel me? <sighs> okay, so before we do that, this video is sponsored by one of my favorite sponsors, Thrive Market. To talk quickly about that, here is sponsor Rachel. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Thrive Market, who I've worked with before. Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. I don't know if you have gone to the organic section of your local grocery store, but that shiz is expensive. Thrive Market can help you cut your grocery bill by 30%. You can shop for thousands of best-selling organic foods and natural products below traditional retail prices. And if you find a better price somewhere else, they can match it. It's also not just food, they have a ton of stuff. Cleaning supplies, beauty supplies. I refilled my shampoo to wash Frodo. <laughs> You can also use the drop down menu and filter by your specific diet, whether that be keto, gluten free, vegan. I am kind of a kid in a candy store when I go and make my order. I get snacks, some dinners for Nick and I. I tried to go a little autumnal with my snacks. I find it's a really good way for me to try something new. I got these banana chips. Ah. Oh. Where have you been all my life? And even though it is membership based, which I understand can kind of shy you away from it, the amount you save 
Personally, for me, when I do just one trip, I'm already saving three times the amount that I would be paying monthly for this. I, I just can't believe the mass of items I'm able to get for not an insane amount of money. So if you did want to join Thrive Market and save 30% off of your first order and a free gift worth up to $50, you can head to thrivemarket.com slash Rachel Maxi. Thank you so much Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. And without further ado, let's freaking do it. <laughs> so I've got these two honking boys, right? Put together like that. Two smaller pieces that I think I'm actually gonna cut these down so that that way we can just make a shape, right? <laughs> Tell me I'm right. Okay, sure, like that. Spray adhesive. There's so much Frodo hair on this, oh my. So I'll start with these babies. Shake can vigorously for two minutes. Oh, okay. Two minutes is a long time. <laughs> Good enough. Oh, if I wanted to do arm day, I would set foot in a gym for the first time in my entire life. Mm. Oh, that's fumey. Should I be doing this outside? Oh, there's nothing. I'm not gonna put that near the candle. My entire barn goes up in flames. Well, then I got it on camera, and that's great content, friends. Dry. <laughs> now kiss. <laughs> it worked. Okay. I definitely gotta open a window. <laughs> yes. Nice. Now we wait. Dries to touch in 30 minutes, handle after three hours. Well, I'm not waiting three hours. <laughs> See you soon. I'm gonna go open like all the doors and windows in here so I don't die. <laughs> I'm about to make a mess up in here. Up in here. Uh-oh. We're gonna get to chopping. I should probably figure out how big I want this. Mm. That'll be my general shape. This being like the highest point. <laughs> we'll use this to cut food. I think I'm probably okay. Let's slice this chicken. It's not working. Do I need to put both blades in here? This two felt very overkill, but I guess I gotta. Oh yeah. Like butter. Just to be safe, I'm gonna put some goggles. I don't think it would ever happen, but just in case the blades decide to fly off and puncture me in the eye. Hey folks, we don't fuck around with eye safety. Lungs? Well, but eyes definitely not. I'm gonna change into something a little more suitable for this job. Let's friggin' do it. giant dome piece. <laughs> yes! It's beautiful! Wow. Take me home! <coughs> I ain't never gonna get you up. I ain't never gonna let you down. I'm just gonna go in smooth as much as I can. I ended up getting some masking tape because I didn't think that the paper mache koi would really stick onto this. <laughs> The tape will probably even out some of these lumps and bumps. I am psyched about this. This was a complete accident. <laughs> also my wrist really giving out on me. I had to keep stopping. 
I thought at first maybe it was just overheating because it was getting really freaking hot. You know when like you spray paint something too long and then all of a sudden your fingers just don't work anymore? That's kind of what was happening with my thumb pressing the button. I've given it enough of a little break now, so I'm gonna try to go in and very lightly slice down on some of the, the bigger bumps. This is looking really stinking cute. I really wasn't sure how this was gonna look, but all right, break. Who can say where the road goes? Oh no. I'm gonna clean this all up. I hate the fact that being a tornado has its consequences. <sighs> All right, here we go. It's looking pretty freaking cute. Big thick boy masking tape. I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know if it's actually gonna stick to this. Let's see. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> Smashing. Not bad. I want to take a break for today and then um, we can whip up that concoction tomorrow morning. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning and welcome back to Let's Make This Sludge. I'm a little intimidated. There's a bit of a process here, but I think once I get going, everything will be fine. <laughs> Ingredients. One and one fourth cup damp toilet paper. One cup pre-mixed drywall joint compound. <laughs> also the looks from all the old white contractor men at Lowe's while I was picking this up was an experience. For paper mache, you weens. Three fourths cup Elmer's glue. Half cup to one cup white flour. So I watched her video on this and I think I pretty much understand what to do, but uh, we shall see. In the hot water, I want all those fibers to be separated. Just swirl it around with your fingers and make that happen. You'll end up with big globs and bumpy lumps in your paper mache clay. No bumpy lumps. Do this until I get as much as I need. I'm also probably gonna have to do this three or four times because the surface area of my mushroom is quite large. Not to brag. Get out. Lovely. Mm -mm. Okay, a little bit more, I think. Looks like a bunch of used diapers. Put it back in there, she said. Soak up the water. Weirdly, it smells quite nice. Puts the toilet paper on the skin. I thought maybe I could do this without my overhead camera, but I just feel like you're not getting the full experience. So I'm gonna go get that. I'll be right back. Now that this is all sloppy, bring it all out, but not too much. You don't want it to be too dry. Mush taters, precious. Yum. All right, Johnny, teach me. Scoopski potatoes. Okay. Ah, uh, yep. How I managed to make even the most relaxing of crafts into complete and utter chaos. It's truly a skill I've learned to culminate over my years on this earth. Uh, oh my god. Oh, it's everywhere. Oh, it's heavy. I'm telling you. I do crafts. Mix it on high. Urge to lick this is present, but not strong enough to make me actually do it. What have I done? Mm, so gross. A disaster. You know, sometimes I feel like it might come across like I'm purposely making things chaotic and messy. Because I wish that were the case, let's just pretend that that is exactly right. Just a performance. 
Chunk, chunk, chunk it up. That's that for now. And it looks like a big old bowl of tuna. So now that we have this, I'm gonna go put it on our mushroom. <laughs> well, Johnny takes a knife and spreads it out that way. I think I'll do the top first. Or should I do the bottom first? Probably want to do the bottom first because I don't want to be flipping it while this is wet. Stool. Yep. Innovation. Here goes nothing. Get some slop on there. And then just... Oh my. That is... Wet. It's not bad. Oh, it looks so much like tuna. Now it's quite lumpy, but I'm thinking I can probably then sand it out with sandpaper blocks after. I'm gonna put like a generous coat on, but not a huge amount. Cause number one, we want this to dry pretty quick, but I also don't want it so shloopy goopy that when I turn this upside down, it's all just gonna slop onto the floor. has to be one of the easiest and most satisfying things I've ever done. You kind of just scoop it on there like a stereotypical wench lady in a coming of age film. And then smooth it out with your knife like you're icing the world's weirdest lumpy cake. <laughs> you if I was a sim my fun meter would be going off the charts now it does look a little moon-esque and a little pops from regular show right now but I swear it gets fixed okay here she is <laughs> we still have some left over, which I am honestly shocked about because this is huge. Covered all of this and then some. I was thinking I was gonna have to do quite a few batches. So I've basically just been going in and smoothing out rough looking bumps. I'm not too, too worried about it because I am planning to sand it down. Now that that is going to be drying for I don't know how long, uh, <laughs> I thought it would be fun to do title sequences that have like little mushrooms in them. We could do a little foraging. <laughs> It's, it looks like the rain has let up just a tiny bit. So this might be my window of opportunity because I think it's supposed to rain all day. Thought that might be kind of fun. Let's do it. I knew we had a lot, but this is, ah, it shows you how much it's been raining lately, <laughs> which is a lot. But that's fine because we had a drought for like two freaking months. So I will take this weather. I hope none of these are poisonous. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do a little research and wash my hands just in case. I mean, I'm not gonna eat them though. So many different kinds. Wow, so small. Try and tell me that ain't a pancake. Mmm. These are apparently very tricky mushrooms. I found the app that I was using, if I took two different photos of the same mushroom, it would give me different results. I'm just searching on the different kinds of mushrooms in my state. We got some good ones here. We got some witch's butter, chicken of the woods, <laughs> common earth ball. That's me. I'm a common earth ball. Plums and custard, bleeding fairy helmet, leafy brain. How do I sign up to be a mushroom namer? Beef steak polypore. <laughs> oh my. But I'm having a hard time identifying the ones that I found from this list. And that could be because I know next to nothing about mushrooms. But, oh, I found the pancake one. Boletus inuxus. Fun. 
Anywho, now we wait for the paper mache to dry. So, I'll see you then. <laughs> Hello. It is now nighttime and I'm still working on this because I have no chill. True to my personality, I got too impatient. Went over the whole thing with my heat gun, probably an hour and a half. <laughs> I got a little nervous that it wouldn't be done even by tomorrow morning. So I wanted to speed that process along and I think it worked, so that's good. <laughs> Ta-da! Some of the areas are um, a little crispy. It kind of looks like, like a roasty toasty marshmallow or tortilla. But I think it is mostly dry. Some spots will still dry overnight, but I think it's okay to sand and paint. These brown spots were at first an accident because I was using the heat gun and catching the glue burning it, so probably not my smartest idea. Then I kind of decided that I liked how it looked and I went around the edges a little. I will say that this dried a lot smoother than I thought it was going to. It's really smooth. That's something to note. It's definitely not as lumpy dumpy. Just a coat of sanding. <laughs> I want these guys. So basically it's brown, different speckles and tones, and paint. That's gray. That's quite nice. There we go. <laughs> the nice thing about doing like an organic kind of project that's supposed to look like something growing in nature is that it doesn't have to be perfect. Not that anything you make has to be perfect. I mean, I guess if you were making skyscrapers or something, perhaps then perfection might be something you strive for. <laughs> Not me, baby. It looks like a mushroom. Yee. Basically what I'm doing is I have this first ring, much lighter for this outer ring. But you may be thinking, why that does not look good. And to that I say, no worries, a mid color. And then go in a handy dandy paper towel and just cheat that color gradient. Much like the internet, in like 2018, you're gonna dab it. So I carried this through throughout the rest of the mushroom and then I could do the little details and the frecks and specks just to make it look like a real mushroom. So with all that and a coat of Mod Podge, it is ready for the reveal. you like you may ask yourself did rachel buy a wig of her old hair because she's too impatient to go back to red who can say really here it is 360 Ooh. i'm so excited it's so cute it needs some tweaking no doubt a little heavy the paper mache clay definitely adds a little bit of heft so it does slide backwards a bit, but I think I can solve that by making the head hole deeper so that way it has more of my head to grip onto because I'm also wearing a wig. So whenever I wear a wig with a hat, it doesn't really work out. Looking at the yellowed bits, I think in theory, I thought it was gonna look cool, but it does kind of just look like it's burned, which it is. I think adding fabric where the head goes and then a strap 
would be really cute. I mean, it stays on if I'm walking around, but I wouldn't be doing any strenuous activities in this baby. <laughs> and, and, and. I think the Mod Podge really, really helps because it's nice and shiny. Weirdly kind of looks alien, which is not something I expected with the, the red dotted mushroom. That's like, oh, mushroom. This is like, oh, space crab. I mean, that's kind of a vibe, so I'm not worried about it. And it was pretty darn easy. People do it a lot easier ways, I think, but I, I just had this foam lying around waiting to be used. Whoa, see, there it goes. Hello? Don't expose my hairline like this. I feel like you could do this for under 50, maybe even less if you're frugal. I had a lot of fun. This was something different, something whimsical, which you know I love. Thank you so much Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. If you guys did want to check out Thrive and subscribe, you can get 30% off of your first order and a free gift up to $50. If you head to thrivemarket.com slash Rachel Maxi. And that's it, friends. I love you whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around for feel free to subscribe. I upload most Fridays and we have fun here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh my God, get out. Get out of my eyeball. Dooby dooby doo wah wah. My name is Angela. Oh my god. Hua? Oh no, the Amazon guy.